Greetings to you, beautiful soul. Thank you so very much for joining me. Let us take a look at past, future, well, past, current, and future money messages for Zodiac Sign Cancer. Take a deep breath here with me. And let's see what was happening in your past, in your money energies. All right, let's get started. <clears throat> so your card, woo! <laughs> <laughs> your first card is the devil card oh my god in your past beautiful souls you could be dealing could have been dealing with a capricorn you were dealing with um um obsessions addictions pessimism lack of belief in yourself lack of support lack of faith lack of boundaries um negative thought patterns and um delays unnecessary delays because of those belief patterns um like you don't believe in yourself or you don't have the the mojo or you don't feel like you have the support and maybe just you wasting too much time in between you going after your dreams but i also felt in your past you had an eagerness to succeed and i love you i just I love your brilliant soul and your brilliant mind, your heart, your spirit, your passion, and the things that you desire to do to become in this lifetime. I really love and appreciate it. This message could be coming from an admirer or like from the most high energies. Nonetheless, that devil card was in your past as it relates to your money. Let's see. The four of swords. Some more energies of... So the four of swords and the devil card is blocks. You may have been experiencing two dream blocks, um, like not doing the things that you were passionate about, writer's block, creator's block, uh, maybe blocking love too, and maybe focusing more on fear and feeling unstable, unsure, uncertain in your past, maybe feeling like you couldn't trust this person, that person. Right, so beautiful souls in your past, um, some delays and sadness and so on pertaining to your money or work but things changed things also changed because i think you have a particular mindset where even though you felt like you were in fear like things weren't working out for you somewhere deep down you believed in yourself i'm telling you because you seem to be the type yeah tower card you seem to be the type of person that's hit rock bottom before many times in your life and you, you knew that is how you find god energy too star quality because you knew that yeah you go down but you come back up these are the things that you believe in yourself so you've instilled even in your pessimistic energy i hear quantum zone you have already embroidered and embedded and instilled within your conscious awareness of who you are eight of swords right so you know that things are dark sometimes, but you also know like you can you can wait for that spark to come back. So nine of pentacles in your past, eight of pentacles, you did work on yourself. You did start to develop. Your money did start to come back in. You did start to see successes, three of cups energy, celebration, giving thanks, so financial stability, a life of luxury. That is was your dream. You never gave up on your dream. That's why I was saying I'm so very proud of you. So imagine if that's your past energy, beautiful soul, right? So let's look. Let's look what's on the bottom of the deck for your past. Moon card, yeah. Something sadistic went on with the devil and the moon card and the four of swords. You encountered some type of a devious setback. That is like it, it seemed like it threw you off course for a, for a minute in your past with your finances. So maybe you lost a job or something. I don't know what happened. But you found your footing again. You know? And you believe in yourself. And I'm getting I believe in you. Okay? You had some type of a hidden enemy. Or, or a group of them in some way. In your past. But let us continue to your current energy your current money energy is beautiful so also getting in your past keeps you kept some things a secret what you were working on maybe that was a good thing that was a good thing you're and so i'm i feel like you're gonna see more progress come up more progress all right more prosperity so let's see 
So we have your first card for your current energy and money. You are a bad, you know what, being full of life, love and possibilities. And you're on a path to your best self. Alright, so maybe in your past what affected your money was exposing some things that shouldn't be exposed. Alright, because you see everything over here is hidden. I can't really show you the devil card and the four of swords and the moon card. I still have to like keep certain things hidden, shadow, shadowed over here. So you went through that in your money energy. You also experienced that with your family members as well. Alright, but you, you found something that kept you balanced. You believed in yourself for a sword, you prayed, you manifested, you you spoke out, I don't know, but you trusted the process, but you found like nine of pentacles energy, you found wealth and financial stability. You found balance, you found where like um you have a stream of steady income that you've generated. So in your current energy now, you feel like going forward to doing greater things. But I also feel a, a similar hesi a hesitation similar to what may have happened in your past. Like you want to take that leap of faith. But something about counting. You may not believe still. Even though this is like a high jump. This You're going across a path that not a lot of people have crossed. So you don't know what... Like you're the first is the energy. You're three of cups. You're like the first to do something. Something risky. Alright? Yeah, so you're still on a mission forward. So you you have a platform online that you're working on. Or this is at your job. You may not be making as much money right now. Things may be slow with that you are a, you, it's like you have big dreams but you feel like you don't have the financial support or the the support um the social support that you need in some way to get there with this three of diamonds card because it's still giving me some things we cannot show or like defacement of property or some type of a setback because notice how the cards look a way that you know we have to be we can't really show show them how we'd want to. So something like that happened in your life where you were blocked in some way. Maybe, I don't know if you were fired or if um you lost this the amount of support that you once had. Or something like that. Something like that went on. So even now, yeah, that's what's up. But I feel like you could be getting the support back. Things could be changing, seven of cups, or you're waiting for them to change right now financially. You may be thinking magic is involved. Yeah, black magic with the crows, the moon card, enemies and secrets, what's happening at night, what's happening behind your back with your investments. But I, I also feel like you have good investments. You may be feeling like people are fighting over something that you have. So you feel, okay, you feel insecure because there could be families fighting over land, over money, over investments, and you just maybe feel unsure and insecure about how to move forward, who to trust, how to trust. So those things are happening around you financially. All right, you may also be wondering who is your friend, who is your real family, and who isn't. But I think something just came to your mind, and you already know the truth. Like, you and I both know the truth about maybe a love connection within a workplace, a work situation, and someone that may be acting like they don't care about you, or but they're, like, probably obsessed with you and in love with you. And you know that. So keep your foot grounded. Remember the truth of who you are. Pray to the Most High, okay? Things will work out in your favor. In your current money energy, there's also the presence of an ex vibration or like ex people or ex family members or something going on, right? You need to face the truth about this. And so let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. So we have you are, so with the you are a bad you know what being card, Cancer. You are like the best or one of the best. For real, like you are a top girl, top man, top woman, top class, the best. You're like one of the judges up in this. Okay, that's the energy. You're a judge, but also like a participant. You're high value, high quality. 
you're a top man top woman i'm telling you, you are the, you are up there that is your energy financially when it comes to your visions your dreams your look on life your maybe even how you look physically beautiful or how intelligent you are okay you're playing top tier vibration even how connected you are to your spirituality and then we have the three of diamonds but you could also be playing it small or you're just trying out for some small gigs or you're doing something mediocre sorry i don't mean to call your work mediocre but you, you're you're passionate you know but it's like you're not going huge as large and as huge as you can for some reason like you still feel afraid because of maybe something that happened, something that transpired in your past energy that actually it is still being resolved spiritually. So you may be making the best decision to uh, to like pull back for a little bit and let things take time and trying out in the small areas first to see what happens. You can, and it is good that you keep believing in yourself at the same time. You keep putting out the work. Oh my God. See, judgment Karmic people, karmic energies are going through judgment. That is why your money is slow right now. Um, because I just said something like, I don't even quite remember. I said like, some like people are going through trial right now for something that happened with your finances. They may have taken from you, Empress and the Six of Diamonds. Alright, so it's like, yeah, because I feel like you are right to be holding back or something like this right now. It's kind of just, it's judgment error. And some people, I'm, I'm going to have to listen to this reading over, but I feel like there are some people that did something to you. And that's why you are afraid of putting yourself out there so much. So you're waiting for that time to feel safe again and to feel stable and to feel grounded and sure about what you're moving forward into. So that is why judgment is happening for you and especially for those people, those dramatic people, um, whatever drama in your family fighting over this, over that. Judgment is on them. For you, you are to be inheriting and doing big things and because they're messing around, it is affecting your dreams. You hear me? And so, the most high is about to shake up the whole place with this judgment card on the bottom of the deck. Because this is not supposed... This is like ruining the show. This is ruining the momentum. You hear me? That's how I'm feeling like. Right? So, imagine the king stepping in to whosoever has been like distracting you from singing or, or performing. Because the, the king is here for your performance. Like you are a main character. And so the king wants to know like. Who are these people behind you fighting or whatever. And causing a distraction. From what you are doing. Like it's your moment. It's your time to, to, to put your piece there for your performance. And then over there. People like distorting the energy. Distracting you. Or going on with their shenanigans over that side and and the king wants to hear you sing you know i hear dumblebee you look the judgment card so now some people are being questioned like the whole thing has been halted is how i'm feeling whatever this whole show that was going on it's been halted by the king and the whole council so this could be your boss or something you could also be moving or thinking of moving so that um you it's like so that you can continue to perform you hear me it's so that you that's so the pause and the break in your money in this time is a judgment error to figure out what's going on over there and why they're distracting you or why they're doing this why they're doing that so that you can continue to perform because you see whatever you do you're mighty you're pretty good at it really good you're entrancing you're magnificent you're a natural and I'm telling you I feel like the big stage is your stage is your place that's where you belong you're a natural performer maybe because of your emotions it moves with your dance with your with your with your physical movements how you, whatever you do you use your emotions in it you take people into a dream you're supposed to have you're supposed to be on a 
big stage like Marilyn Monroe or somebody like that. Okay, but then you have those people like this could be jealous people or whatever going on over there. So, so that's what's currently going on for you financially. That was a bit long. All right, so let's move on. So remember, this is the you are a bad, you know what being, and then the three of diamonds and the five of wands. All right, so let's see. So let's see what is to come for you in in the future financially. Your first card is six of cups. Um, so I think that this is something about a cycle where the same thing that caused you to have delays in your past is probably going on in your future that may want to repeat itself in your, sorry, it's probably going on in your current. So whatever happened in your past is probably still happening now that you, that you, that, that is why you're going through this hole or this break. So it can be resolved, but it might want to repeat itself in your future. You're gonna so you're gonna need to be very discerning about your money in the future. You're getting some credits or getting your flowers, but watch out for that hidden enemy from your past with the moon card wanting to come back in your future to set you back again or whatever they did in your past energies that caused some delays. Alright, but you remember even though you went through those delays, you did end up picking yourself back up. But you don't want the set setback. You need to like persevere. You don't want to go back through a stage of depression for like another nine months. You don't want those cycles. So be discerning in your future. Yeah, the ten of wands. You don't want to have to think you have to work ten hundred hours again before you make it. You're going to need to be really disciplined and become like a true alchemist where things work out for you beautifully. Everything you touch turns to gold. Not struggling and broken down and thinking it's not going to work. In the future of your money message, there is truth that is coming out. And you're becoming more aware of what your setbacks were. And you are making a commitment, like a vow, to take the time to work on yourself gently and um, committedly selflessly lovingly honorably to work on rebuilding your stability your sense of self um, taking yourself from grace and this well take sorry taking yourself from disgrace and putting yourself into into more graceful energies hard work determination success and yeah you may start off on your like doing a lot of work on your own but i'm feeling like this is your vision your thing to manifest um this hard work in your future is gonna bring in partnerships to you that are going to help you to feel a bit more balance where you can allow someone to come in so bringing a give and take relationship with other people that will be working with you this is going to bring balance because it's making things easier for you to help to bring in more energies of success all right so let's see i'm gonna clarify the six of cups on the table over there for your future what is the six of cups for cancer's future money messages what is the six of cups angel spirits guides for what's coming for your money in the future self-care also self-care self-love doing things from a place of love and not just for vanity but for just be, for following your heart's sake rebuilding restoring reconnecting and finding happiness and joy in um in your endeavors moving forward starting small starting from self belief in self right you're gonna have support people places and things that love you and support you kindness in your life because you are kind and you're resourceful you have a lot to offer you're very creative so what is the ten of wands yeah, in your future, you're going to be using your creativity. Look, it's 10 of 1s fell to the floor, repeated. 
you're going to be using your gifts and your attributes very well you could become like a model or some type of a performer where you're displaying your work you're displaying your if your if your work is like your physical body in any way maybe you're an athlete all right maybe you work with your arms you're a farmer maybe you are you are some type of a juggler in some way all right so with the three of swords the three of swords is also there that is reversed right there let us see what that is for your future um in your future someone may this someone may up out of a situation and like you may feel like you are alone now you know someone that may have given you a word or something may have decided that they couldn't any something like this i don't know but the thing is, the, the disappointment of three swords just felt like you feeling like you have to do something now uh, on your own or in your own way. But I don't feel like you're, it's going to deter you. You understand me? It's not going to deter you. And I'm also feeling like these same pre people that rejected you or whatever this was, um, they're going to come around because you're going to prosper. You're, gonna, you're victorious, so they're going to come to recognize that. For real, they're going to show up. They're going to come back around. They're going to come around after you've somehow established established um, yourself or you did not give up, right? Because I'm getting in the future, someone may not really still believe in your abilities, but you're going to prove yourself and do something and even make your heart even stronger. But try not to overwork. Try not to burn yourself out. That's why I'm saying. Give yourself some attention and some space to relax. Give back to yourself. Take yourself out on a vacation. Allow love to find you. Just find balance. Don't give all of your energy just to work. And not just to and not to love, you know. So watch the three of swords. Because I feel like love is coming in. Oh my gosh, the ace of cups. Love is for sure coming into your life. I hear father. Or this is a kind of a loving support. All right, magician, it's a powerful love or support that you're getting in your life, right? And some truth coming out about the people like from your that are currently trying to like oppose you. You're gonna see them, okay, in some way. But we're gonna move on past current, future money messages for Cancer and whosoever the messages resonate with. Take it easy and I'll catch you in the next one. All is well, cancer, beautiful, and all is within you. Much love.